Assume you work in a supermarket and you have been given the task to create a chart that compared sales revenue figures of three product categories for the past four years. So you create a data table like this. Just highlight the data from A2 to E50 and click on the insert tab. Then line chart. You'll end up with this. As you can see, it's not the best chart, so we need to create less cluttered charts that make it easier to understand data from several categories. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to build a line parallel chart that shows two or more similar sets of data side by side. With this technique, you can show periods in different colors without breaking the continuity of the overall trending. So let's dive in. A panel chart is actually one chart with the clever use of formatting and overlaying scatter charts creating the dividing lines of each data set. The first step is to lay the data in a staggered format, having two sets of columns for each product category, and get your data organized like this in the sales worksheet. So it's very crucial to stagger the data into retrospective years. I prefer to change the format of my months to only one letter, so that it can save me more space for the chart. Highlight months from B3 to B50, and from format cells, date category, select M as type. Look at the sample here, click OK, and months are presented with only one letter. The horizontal axis will be more simplified now. Let's highlight all the data from A2 to H50 and insert a simple line chart. Move it besides the data and increase the size. You can immediately see the panel effect. I have six series two different lines for each product category, so I have six different colors. For example, we must fix the formatting so that the colors of each category will be the same. Where I click on the first beer, wine, and spirits line, and select Format Data Series. The Format Data Series pane appears. Click on Fill and Line Bucket, and change the color to blue. Do the same with the second line of beer, wine, and spirit category. The color is changed for this category. Select the next line. Red in bakery and make it red. Finally, select the cleaners category and make it green. Close the format data series. Delete the title of the chart. Now we can get rid of the additional legends. Click on them and press the delete key. The next step is to add the vertical lines, the dividers to separate and distinguish each of these years. We'll do that by overlaying an XY scatter chart and use error lines as our dividers. First of all, we need to put markers here, so we will know exactly where we want our vertical line to be. Once we have the markers, we will then activate the error bars. From this table here, I will control my dividers. The base number is 12 because a year has 12 months, and we want our divider to be after the 12th month. So the first should be 12 and a half, and the next one should be 24 and a half, and so on. So click on the K4 cell, and I'm going to use this formula. Equal cell K1 with absolute reference, which is the month's dividers, multiplied by cell J4, plus 0 0.5. Press Enter. The result is 12.5. Increase the decimals to 1, to see the exact results if you need. Copy the cell down to cells K5 and K6. These three cells are going to be the position of our marker on the X axis. The Y axis is going to be zero. 
so put 0 in cells L4, L5, and L6. Now we'll start by copying these cells from K3 to L6. We are going to select the chart and paste special. From the paste special dialog box we want to add a new series. The Y values would be the column and we will check the categories or X labels in the first column box. Click the OK button. Looks like nothing happened. If you notice the legend, there is a series Y entry. From the format tab, click the drop down arrow from the current selection and find the series Y. Now from the design tab, click on the change chart type button. The change chart type dialog box open. From the combo category, I can see the Y series name. The chart type is a line. I will change it to a scatter chart. Also, check the secondary axis box and click OK. Now I've got two more axes, an additional horizontal on the upper side of the chart and an additional vertical on the right side. We don't want the upper horizontal axis, so highlighting it and deleting it. Now I get the position properly. What I need is a vertical line that goes all the way up and stays there for whatever the values are here. Now we need to add the error bars. Select the chart, click the format tab, select the series Y, then from the design tab, add chart element, error bars, and highlight the more error bars option. Select plus as the direction of the vertical error bar and no cap as end style. Here from the error amount, I'm going to put as a fixed value the number one, and this is where we activate the error bars. The bars do not go right to the top. Double click the right vertical axis and find the maximum bounds to one. From tick marks, change the major type to none and no label position. Close the dialog box. Delete these X error bars from the bottom and the Y legend. Also, delete the grid lines. And from the format tab, add a shape style. Remove the border of the chart. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and that you managed to understand how to create panel charts to easily compare values.